Uh, Kamal, can you tell me if you are able to see uh, whether it is going live? Just a second, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. It's live right now, I think. We can start from start. So, uh, hi, viewers. Uh, today, welcome uh, to this uh, live session again in another topic and with a new guest today. Uh, and uh, we have our uh, guest and a co-host also with me. So, welcoming you, Kamal, as a co-host of from Alice Blue uh, team here. And we have a new guest here, Mr. Uh, Abhishek. So, uh, so I would like to share a few things before we go uh, uh, talk about uh, the topics here. So, because this guest is a little special for all of us, uh, because uh, he not only uh, you know comes from the trading journey, but also has multi multi versatile uh, person who has been doing uh, you know learning, come uh, you know training, come sharing of knowledge to multiple people. So uh, he's one of uh, the Indian traders who have dedicated you know his learning space uh, for people like us who are you know so too enthusiastic to learn about uh, uh, trading and especially into options as well to be very particular so he has done um, uh, ted talks like you know multiple ted talks and not only one or two awards but multiple awards for that matter and he's also not only an active influencer by uh, by nature in not only in one of the platforms in like YouTube, but he has also been a special speaker in uh, B schools and other, uh, you know, premium sco uh, schools and colleges, be it IIT or be it NIT. And he's not only, he has not just stopped his journey uh, with uh, trading or with, uh, uh, you know, teaching and, uh, uh, you know, sharing the knowledge. He's also been an author and he's he has even published multiple books for that matter. So, so let's welcome him to our session and let's get to hear from him personally. And people who have any questions here, you can post it in the chat box. So, and before we get into the session, I would like to say that this uh, session is purely for educational and informational purpose only. So the learning that you carry today, please do try uh, paper trading. Please do try mock trading. And before you get into the live streaming, uh, live session in uh, the trading platform. So uh, hi, Abhishek. Welcome Hello, Savita Ji. Thank you so much for this warm introduction. Hopefully, we'll be able to add a lot of value uh, True. in the lives of all the attendees. True. Thank you so much for coming live today. And uh, this is our first session. And like I was telling you, we will be doing multiple sessions with you on different uh, concepts and uh, trading uh, techniques. So which is going to help all our uh, active traders here in Alice Blue. So whatever uh, learnings they're going to carry here. So I think they will all come back with more questions and more doubts. So, <laughs> so that is going to be another topic for you to, uh, you know, have a session with us once again. So, so yeah, let's get, uh, let's get started. Uh, so uh, before even you talk about the, uh, the strategy or you, you start explaining about the strategy, please tell us in very, very simple terms, what is the uh, VWAP strategy and why did you even choose this topic uh, to talk today? So VWAP is something on which I've been working for the last couple of years. In fact, uh, lately, a lot of people have been using it uh, in their intraday systems, but I've been using it even when it was not much talked about uh, uh, over uh, normal platforms like social media has, of course, given it a boost. Uh, what is it? How do we use it? That's a part of the presentation because see what my intent remains is even if a beginner is trying to attend this particular session or someone who is intermediate uh, in uh, his trading journey should take some uh, something out of this particular session. So I'm going to explain each and everything right from the conceptual basis to discussing towards a strategy, which of course I would insist all the attendees to first go do a bit of paper test. And I'll tell you a beautiful thing about uh, whatever strategies and everything we talk about on various uh, domains. The best part is it's not necessary that a person who is attending this particular session should, should simply go and try to replicate the entire strategy. Sometimes one tiny uh, difference, it could be, oh, someone who was probably never using a VWAP he was just using a super trend suddenly gets to understand, oh, there was a VWAP and Abhishek is using it in this form that can completely change uh, that uh, trading cycle for that person. So what I would insist everyone who's listening to this particular session, it's not mandatory that you have to 100% replicate what we are talking about here, but simple takeaways, it could be some psychological points, it could be about the basics, it could be about the strategy. All that is needed is just that one point which can completely transform your trading career. At least that is what had happened with me in the past. So uh, if you permit, uh, we can actually start off with the session with yes. the presentation. 
Yes, yes. Please go ahead. You can share Amazing. the screen. So I'm actually going to share the screen and uh, just give me a confirmation, guys, if uh, you guys can uh, see the screen at this point of time. Yeah, yeah it is visible. Great, great. And uh, uh, is it okay if I keep it this way? Because at times I'll have to switch on between giving some uh, real-time examples out there. Or do I need to make it a full screen? I mean, I'll be anyways explaining uh, everything on whichever, this screen. Whichever is comfortable for you. We can cool, read cool, cool. Uh, the fonts. Read. Yeah, it is okay. readable. So, good so anyways, let's do one thing. Uh, let's start uh, first the presentation and then I'll go with the screen. So that would be better. So first of all, uh, now I'll uh, take over from here and explain the entire concepts at the end of the day, uh, end of the session. If people have any questions, I'm here to answer all of those. Okay. So as you guys can understand what is VWAP and don't worry, I'm going to show everything on a screen using the trading view charts. Don't worry about that. So uh, the volume weighted average price is nothing. It's a technical indicator. First of all, it's an indicator. It's not a pure price action basis. Now, what is the difference between a moving average and VWAP would be explained, but you've got to understand it is made of two words. What are those volume as well as price? So when you are actually using a moving average, there is an average of all the uh, prices. No volume has been considered when we are talking about moving averages. VWAP on the contrary is also taking into consideration the volumes. And mind you, whenever you're doing intraday trading, intraday trading is all about trading the sentiments. I repeat, intraday trading is all about trading the sentiments and sentiments are reflected by volumes. So VWAP beautifully is actually signifying that, okay, these are the places where there are volumes also and price is also trying to relate with it. So a very basic concept for the first takeaway from here is whenever a particular security, it could be commodity, it could be currency, it could be equity, it could be index. In index, you have to uh, keep in mind, you can only keep index futures when I'm talking about VWAP. Why? Because normal index doesn't have its own volume. So for example, absolutely, Kamalji. So when I'm talking about reality sector or I'm talking about only Nifty Bank, obviously it doesn't have its own volume. So we need to go and check out bank Nifty futures. Now, uh, I'm also going to answer a few questions which might pop into the heads of the people right away. So some might ask, okay, so let's say right now it's April. So we have April, May and June contracts open as of now uh, for the futures as well as options. So you would ask which one is better if I'm looking into the indices, obviously the present month. Why? Because as soon as you're going into May or you're going into the June, you are going to have significant uh, slippages out there as well as the volumes are relatively lower when you are actually looking for the further side. So first of all, always remember when you're using an index futures, it should be the present one because that is where you get decent amount of liquidity. That's the next part. The third one, it would look more or less like a moving average, but I've already told what's the major difference. Now, Initially, when I was using VWAP almost uh, seven years back, there was a simple concept. If the stock is above VWAP, it is simply a buying zone. If it is below VWAP, it is a selling zone. And even as of today, a lot of people consider this as the only way of trading VWAP, which is wrong. There are multiple uh, ways through which VWAP is getting traded. For example, I'll, uh, just for perspective, you can take even previous day VWAP. That's number one. Second, if you go on trading view, I'll show you on the screen. There are some interesting features. For example, uh, you just don't need to, and now it's available on brokers also. So I'm pretty sure even LS Blue will provide this kind of feature. So what happens is when you're using VWAP, you can even go into checking around like what could be the monthly VWAP zone, what could be the weekly VWAP zone. This is also possible. Third way is you always need to understand that VWAP is like a magnet. What is a magnet? So magnet is always trying to pull things in front of it. So when a particular stock is going up and up and up and VWAP, there's a significant difference between VWAP and the particular stock. If that stock is resisting at some place, there is a high possibility it is going to come and retest the VWAP before going up. And we are going to see some examples. In fact, we're going to see today's few examples as well. So this is basically a very basic of what VWAP is. Now for today's indicator, uh, you got to understand that we're going to mix two things, whatever strategy we were going to discuss. And as a standard disclaimer given by Savita, uh, this is just for educational purpose. So please don't consider it as a holy grail. It has been 11 and a half years. So far, I've not found a holy grail. Uh, the only holy grail which I found is 
psychology. 80% is psychology irrespective of whatever strategy you're using. If you don't have control over your uh, losses, no matter whatever strategies you use, you, are, you will end up losing big chunks of money. So for this particular strategy, we are also going to use William Alligator, uh, which is nothing. We just need to understand a when you are actually looking into a very smoothened form of moving averages, that is basically what alligator gets. But we are going to use a different type of alligator here. We are simply going to use the jaws. For those people who are not understanding, don't worry. We are going to put everything on the screen for various things to understand. Now, what is the setup before I make you understand? Let's go onto the screen and understand whatever we have discussed so far. Okay. So I just need a confirmation if you guys can see a chart out here. You guys can see a chart. Yes. I guess you guys can see this chart on the screen. Uh, okay, wait, let me just help you out. Now, I guess you guys can see the chart. Yeah, now it is visible. Great, great. So let's do one thing today. Uh, so let's think from a trader's perspective. Over the weekend, everyone was talking about a gap up or a gap down. And the interesting thing which happened, if you notice, is that entire move actually happened after the second half. Everyone was thinking there would be a huge gap up. The gap up got sold down in Nifty and the real move actually came around the second half. And let's understand why people were talking about uh, what could possibly happen was because of two stocks had posted their respective results. So one was a banking giant and another one was a Nifty uh, heavyweight. So I'm talking about Reliance and ICICI Bank Disclaimer, not a buy or sell recommendation, but we are going to test what possibly we could have done with, let's say, Reliance. So let's look around Reliance. What exactly happened on Reliance? If you can see, yes, a gap up happened. Let me just zoom in it a little. And this is a five minute chart for people to understand. This is a five minute chart. It gapped up. Now let's think from a technical perspective, whatever we have learned so far, a gap up means a bullish sign. A green candle means a bullish sign. And plus a significant amount of volume also means bullish sign. So uh, let me ask Mr. Kamal, Mr. Kamal, just, just by thinking these three things, don't you think we should have simply bought into Reliance at the first tick? Let's forget whatever happened. Am I, am I right? Because it's a gap up, good volume. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think we should buy, right? So, so. Uh, yes, and, yes, everyone, the new, new, yeah, new beginners will come and trade like this only. Absolutely. Everyone would buy. Yeah. So here is where we would put a VWAP first. So VWAP is available everywhere. And I'm pretty sure it is there on Alice Blue and people are using it extensively out there. Day traders, experienced day trader. So here, for example, I'm using, so right now we are looking into three ticks, which uh, uh, this uh, uh, trading view gives, but you need to just keep into the VWAP style. So I'm just going to remove the upper band, lower band, and VWAP style. And now let's understand psychologically. So I'm going to take you guys step by step. Okay. The first basic understanding for any beginner or intermediate player is never ever trade the first tick. I repeat, never ever trade the first tick. Why? You would ask me why. That is because the first tick is the place where a lot of brokers are going to square off the positions, a lot of prop desks who have taken positions, they're going to square off a lot of people who have taken BTST for irrespective of whatever stocks they have taken. I'm pretty sure a lot of people took BTST considering that reliance results might be good over the weekend. Let's hold on to reliance. And when there's a gap up, we are going to take an exit. A lot of people take this thing, but that is where a lot of people get trapped. Now let's understand the first very basic concept. The first candle, if we have to avoid the very next candle, if you can clearly see has closed below the VWAP, but let's wait, let's wait, not just hurry up about taking a trade. The third candle itself is showing that, oh, it is certainly slipping below the VWAP. So for any sort of scalper, scalper is someone who's holding his position for uh, not more than uh, five to 10 minutes. That's the max position uh, time frame for which a scalper actually holds. For reference, you guys can check out my friend uh, Siva. And I guess Siva uh, also keeps on doing a lot of sessions. So you guys can definitely. Yeah, Mr. Kamal, you want to say something? Yes, yes. No, no. Yeah. So we uh, have done one session with us. Oh, okay. So just see, so Siva, Mr. Siva has done a session with them. You guys can definitely go and check it out that as well. So the first thing you got to check is a scalper does it very quickly. Even a day trader who's going to hold for 10, 15 minutes can take a reference from here. 
third important reference so today uh, i have uh, done a certain trade so i occasionally come live on my respective youtube channel you guys can go and check it out but the language over there is hindi in the live section you will find so this is why i had not suggested people taking long in nifty in the first half nifty now you would question hey abhishek reliance is showing this kind of momentum why were you suggesting people in the first half to be little cautious on nifty because you got to understand reliance has a very big weightage on nifty and today somewhere or the other people were expecting what will happen based on reliance moment and you guys can clearly see that a scalper or a day trader who just wants to trade for a 15 minute merely by looking at viva on a news based a high volume stock where there is a momentum could have simply shorted reliance and within the first 15 minutes had made decent jump but let's understand you were an aggressive trader and you entered at the first candle you said that no i am very confident uh, because reliance is having a very good result i'm going to enter right away at this point of time what should be your exit point then the moment it slips below viva or at max if you are even aggressive so let's say i consider myself to be a little aggressive player at max the low of the first candle that's it at max the low of the first candle or when it is slipping below viva but wait a second it's not the strategy we are going to talk about this is a fairly simple thing i'm just trying to build up your basics so that step by step you understand another result which everyone was waiting for was icici bank and let's see what exactly happened in icici bank on the contrary the first candle dipped uh, uh was trying to dip below the viva the second one took a support the third one so let's say you took an entry over here here your stop loss gets hit why because it is slipping below the viva and again it moves down what was the significant uh, signifying at this point of time this was signifying that at least for the first 20 30 minutes both the giants are going to take some time and that's why index is not simply going to move up directly and what you see post this place 1215 let's say 12 1215 icici bank reclaims the viva level and let's see what was also happening with bank nifty post the next half can you guys see what exactly was happening can you guys see what parallel move was trying to happen yes there was a false breakout then again down but the moment icici bank also started supporting the move the bank nifty futures took a move is it a strategy no but this is the very core basic concept which you got to understand at the first place that how vwap can be used not just for stocks but for indices so next time when you are actually sitting and you want to trade bank nifty just keep in your radar icici bank sbi kotak bank indusind bank for sometimes although it doesn't have much weightage and hdfc bank mostly if you are able to track that okay these all stocks are above viva these all stocks are showing good momentum there is a high possibility if out of these five six stocks even three four are giving decent momentum bank nifty is going to go up and when you are talking about nifty there are certain stocks like it pack tcs infosys you have reliance you have uh, again this bank icici bank although icici bank probably has 23 28% something in between for bank nifty in nifty also it has significant amount of weight some uh, 6 8% something between that 5 to 8% i cannot recollect it properly but reliance also has 8% so merely by looking at that particular stock you could have judged the first momentum so i guess the first part of vwap is clear mr kamal i guess the first part would be clear to uh, everyone out here yes sir clear uh, great so now that we understand that vwap has given uh, this particular uh, structure out there let's again go back to uh, some random stock so let's again go to reliance okay what we observe over here is that uh, yes reliance did give us a clear indication just see i talked in the starting it will act as a magnet so magnet was trying to pull when it was stretched down through below it was trying to pull but again a sort of resistance and then again if you can clearly see there were three four times when the magnet was trying to pull it was end of the day that the magnet has tried to pull this thing so always remember first viva will act as a magnet second you got to understand if the stock is below viva it's better to have a shorting opportunity rather than buying opportunity now let's understand why a lot of people get wrong while using viva it's because they are not using it in confluence 
I repeat, they are not using it in confluence. Now, the obvious question is, what is confluence? Confluence is basically when multiple things are actually shouting and telling that, okay, now this level is breaking, plus this is also showing a buy zone, plus this is also showing a buy zone, let's buy. So when multiple two, three things are signifying that there is a buy position to be built up, that is basically a confluence. And as a trader, you've got to understand that irrespective of whatever strategy you're using, if you're using it in isolation, it could be VWAP, it could be super trend, it could be moving average. If you are using it in isolation, there is a high possibility you can get a lot of wrong signals. So what confluence we can make out over here? Let's go to ICICI Bank and I'll tell you what exactly I was showing, uh, checking out over here. So the very first thing I was checking, let me just shrink this particular uh, chart. So I have just shrinked this particular chart and I went and looked around the previous day. So obviously, uh, when you're actually talking about the previous day, today was 24th, we had a weekend. So 23rd Friday was the previous day, as we can, we guys can clearly see. Now you must have observed a very simple price action strategy and that price action strategy simply says that just mark the previous day high and mark the previous day low. You must have heard in case you haven't heard, this is a very beautiful thing, very simple yet effective. Just go and check it out. This works on most of the occasions. So you just mark the previous day high and then previous day low. I'm not just marking previous day low because it's significantly lower. It doesn't make any sense. And then just come to the present day. So in ICICI bank, when you were actually looking at the previous day high, so there was a false breakout initially, then the previous day high, it took a support and then broke out over here, broke down over here. Plus it was below VWAP. This is what I call a first level of confluence. So what you are saying is that, okay, the price action is also showing that there could be some sort of weakness out here. Plus VWAP is also indicating there would be some sort of weakness. And for the next 10, 15 minutes, you get a trade. You simply short over here, let's say 900. And another confluence is a psychological level. What is psychological level? When you take into the round numbers. So you would often find that anyone who's coming on news channels, they wouldn't say that if... Nifty is going above 17,113.5. No, they would always talk in absolute numbers. If Nifty is going about 17,750, if Nifty is staying below 18,000, likewise, if ICICI is going below 900. Now, what is the significance of the psychological level? The significance of the psychological level is these whole numbers are considered to be places where a lot of day traders, a lot of positional traders, a lot of algos are being placed somewhere near to these places. That's why they hold a lot of significance and easy to remember. So here we have three significance. First, 900 is breaking. Second, VWAP is breaking. Third, you also have that previous day high resistance also breaking at this point of time, which could have given you a short position. But wait a second. You might ask, hey, Abhishek, aren't we going against the trend? Because at this point of time, even bank nifty is up and this is also trying to move up. So my answer is, this entry was only for scalpers. Since I'm clearly mentioning 10 to 15 minutes, a scalper has to be quick. Today also, I've just uh, uploaded a reel on uh, Instagram and you would find that entire scalp took place within one minute. I've just entered, exited 250 lots just like that. It's a live trade record out there and just ex exited. So you got to understand a scalper for him or her for that matter. 15 minutes is like bonanza for that person getting that kind of move because they go with huge quantities. So that is there. But if you're a conservative player, your entry happens over here, this particular cat. Why? Let's understand. Three things. First of all, bank NFT after even gapping up, couldn't break its day's low. What was the day low? If you look into the wick of this particular candle, you can clearly see it was protected out there. And some people might ask, why are you giving Bank Nifty or ICICI Bank example today? Because I want to take fresh examples. Instead of taking dilapidated, whatever I've observed today, I'm just talking about this thing. Bank Nifty was showing momentum. ICICI Bank, despite trying to test this thing, couldn't break the low level. Just see, it was trying to go below this level. Immediately, there was a bullish candle, which psychologically gives you a reference that, yes, someone is trying to hold this particular stock. Then it took some time. It was simply trying to take out the weak hands. In technical terms, weak hands were being removed. Impatient traders who just took random trades, they were removed. The moment it went up over here, 
that is precisely where a long position could have been made with a stop loss below VMAP. And then you could see beautifully for the entire day, even if you held on to that position, it could be a call position and in the money call position, at the money call position, a future position, or even a cash position, you would have made money. So the VIX is certainly low at this point of time. So call buyers also could make money with in the money or at the money option. And that is how merely by noticing ICICI bank, you could have made money. So what was the confluence over here? psychological level broke a good bullish candle. If you can see a decent bullish engulfing candle can be noticed. Third, uh, you had above VWAP, fourth above psychological level, fifth, the gap up was restored. So when five consecutive things are actually talking about taking it a buy, you should have taken a buy. Let's talk about reliance also. And then I'm going to add another mix over here. So reliance, although here, the scalper would have easily uh, sold this thing. Let's see what was the signal for the previous day person. So previous day high was over here. And why I'm actually considering the wick uh, for those people who are absolute basics over here. This is called the wick, the shadow or the wick of that particular previous uh, day candle has been marked. So clearly you can see even the end of the day is close to that previous day high. So right from the first tick, Reliance today hasn't participated in NIFT. It is the other counters who have actually held. And anyways, by now, I guess this must be clear that if the stock is below VWAP, we don't have to create a bullish position. So anyone who was creating a bullish position today, irrespective of what they were trying to do in Reliance specifically, they were doing a mistake. So, so far, this was VWAP and how a confluence of pure price action could have held. But let's just understand what if I add one more layer to it, just one final, final layer to it, which could enhance our aptitude, our capacity to make money. Wouldn't that be interesting? And that is, my dear friends, precisely what we are going to do over here. We always talk about multi time frame analysis. What is multi time frame analysis? I personally do it quite often. So even if I have to take an intraday trade, I will switch to maybe an hourly candle, a 30 minute candle, a daily candle at max, just to see what is the progression of that particular stock so that I have a fair idea about how to trade. So let's take an example, 30 minute chart frame, which is available everywhere. Just go to 30 minutes time frame. Okay. And, uh, and people must be thinking that he is just having reliance or ICIC bank. So let me just take any other uh, stock, Mr. Kamal, any FNO stock, which you would suggest, which has decent liquidity. Uh, you can go for the Larsen and Tobro LT. LT. Okay. I hope you don't have a position out there because mostly no, people no, no, talk I about <laughs> No, I don't have it. Great. Great. So sir has talked about LT. Okay. Go on indicators and this is available on LS Blue also and every other platform. Just go and look into Williams Allocator. So trading view gives you a lot of random suggestions. You need not to go with that. Just keep everything default and we are just going by the job. So by the way, first let's understand how this alligator looks around. I'm just uh, going to close the VWAP uh, for the basic understanding. When you are actually looking into the alligator, you would always see that it has got three places. So what is an alligator? Alligator is uh, uh, the crocodile, which you often see. So you would always see when the crocodile is opening its mouth, there are three aspects to it. One is the jaw, one is the teeth, and one is the lips. These are nothing. These are smoothened form of moving averages, smoothened form of moving averages. All we need is a jaw out there. Jaw is something which we are going to look at. Now you would ask, hey Abhishek, why are we using the jaw out there? The only reason for using this jaw, and I'm going to show you why, is to understand the trend of that particular stock for a couple of days. See, we are going to do intraday trading. So we don't want to see what is the monthly time frame, what is the weekly time frame, because they are going to give us a very long term view. We just want to understand within a week what has been the momentum, how the stock has performed. And that is exactly how we are going to decide on a VWAP whether we should even think of taking a short position or not. Let's understand it further. So whenever, let it, let me simplify it. Whenever on 30 minutes chart, you actually see a particular stock, which is above the alligator. Even if the VWAP is showing a short position, don't short. Or even if you are shorting, short with one tenth of the position size. Why? Because the entire trend for the while is trying to show that, yes, there has been a bullish momentum. And likewise, whenever the stock is significantly going below the alligator, 
that is precisely when if the vwap is showing you a short position is you should comfortably take a short position out there you should not ever try to think to go towards a long position so let's take an example uh, let's go a little bit in the past and now uh, i'm just keeping a tab so from 12th of april so let's say 13th april we got a very good bearish sign also so 12th to let's say 18th april we are first going to see and then we are going to come with the latest chart so now i'm going to go to five minutes i'm going to hide this thing and we are just going to come up with the vwap and i'm again going towards uh 12th and 13th so this is 13th and let's go to 12th so uh we just uh saw on 30 minute time frame alligator was certainly showing that larson and tobro was actually going and dipping below the 30 minutes alligator what does it mean it simply means that even over here Although it's a red candle, which is again bearish, although it's a gap up, although it is above the VWAP, on this day on 13th also, you shouldn't buy. You should wait for a sell signal. Here, anyways, magnet again, again, retesting. So this is magnet why I'm again and again signifying magnet is for those people who miss out an opportunity in the daytime. They will always get an opportunity because this will act as a resistance. And the moment you see, so this is not just one candle, thrice it has shown that there is a resistance over this day, plus it is below the alligator 30 minutes, you always get a sell signal. And plus just check if previous day high is acting as a resistance or it is even breaking the previous day low. For example, over here on this particular day, you got a beautiful setup out there. So let's say this was the previous day low. Uh, if I'm considering 13th April, I have to mark 12th uh, previous day low. I'll also mark previous day high, although it was not checked, but I'm just marking the previous day high. You can clearly see the gap up got sold. If you are a risky player like me, you could have probably because alligator was also below. Plus, this is a red candle, a good bearish candle. You could have gone short over here. Even if you are a conservative trader, you could sold like 10% quantities over here, follow up another 10%. Here, you could have gone with your entire quantities. And then just see the beauty for the entire day for most part of the day till 12, 12, 13, it kept down. And over here, it has crossed. But I guess for a lot of retail players, even if they would have captured this much of move for them, it's more than enough. I mean, within half an hour or let's say an hour, if you are getting a Larson and Tobro from uh, 2277 to let's say 2263 or 2260, I guess for a lot of retail players on an intraday basis, this many points are also good enough in a stock like LT. So what is the rule we are trying to build up over here? 30 minutes alligator is going to decide the trend. Normal price action rules can be included over here for further confluence. And the third one is above VWAP or lower VWAP is going to decide whether you should buy or sell. Even if there was a buying position, you shouldn't buy. First, for two reasons. First of all, it is happening at 310. So anyways, you don't have much chances for intraday trading. And next, again, see how it trapped the BTST player because alligator was below 30. Again, the same journey started with LT. Now let's take into consideration. Again, I'm coming with uh, uh, 30 minutes charts and let's see what is happening right now in LT because we should understand what is happening currently. So currently, just today at 215, uh, it has actually again tried to sustain above the alligator sign. This is alligator 30 minute. It is above this thing. So one thing is pretty sure that if Mr. Kamal wants to trade LNT tomorrow, at least unless it is dipping below 2215, he, even if VWAP is giving a short signal, he should refrain from shorting LNT. Why? Because the 30 minute tangent is clearly showing that the trend is above. So this is how when you're creating a watch list, it becomes easy for you to understand whether you should be on a buying side or on a selling side. So it also helps you to build up a watch list based on the alligator. So what is the strategy? Let's revise it again. On 30 minute chart, look into the trend. VWAP is something which you're going to use on intraday. Time frame which you're going to use is a five minute. Now here is something which I call as confluence. And I, I often use that confluence before I move towards a few Q&A and uh, uh, this thing, because this is a very fairly easy concept. So let's say, uh, I remember I traded Indusin Bank at some point of time with this thing. I guess okay, this sir, was, what, yes. I've seen one later. If you could plot both alligator and VWAP in the different uh, color, colors. colors oh, okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. 
So uh, let's turn VWAP into black. And I'll also uh, make this a little, uh, what do we call? Mm, no, let it be line. Now I guess it's completely fine. Uh, people can clearly see the difference, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to revise the entire concept. 30 minutes is basically when you're going to look into the trend uh, uh, with the help of alligator. Once you have checked out the trend, you're going to use uh, VWAP for a buy or sell signal. If you have confluence of volume plus price action, that's the beautiful setup out there. Obviously, it would require practice. I've been doing VWAP for uh, a very long period of time, maybe six, seven years now with uh, VWAP itself, when it was not even available to most of the platforms I've been using. Now, here's some interesting pointers. Again, I'll take back you to the presentation before I start taking up a few questions. Uh, and then uh, I can take up the question. So let me just uh, take you guys to the presentation because a few pointers like this are definitely going to be icing over the cake. Now, lately we have seen for the past few days, you can clearly see there has been a distinct move between Nifty and Bank Nifty. So uh, Bank Nifty is trying to pull up, but Nifty tries to drag down. Nifty today, it has gone up, but Bank Nifty didn't sustain that move for the last few minutes. I mean, it went till the 700 levels and then dipped down to the 600 odd levels, while Nifty uh, went up crazily. Although people were expecting it would be a reliance which will carry forward Nifty, but it were the other components. You got to understand this is happening right now and on an occasion of lower VIX might continue for a while. But in the long run, when the global queues are supporting, so let's say when you look into the US markets and the European markets for that instance, and when you see there has been a good rally out there, we often see that, yes, we are trying to replicate more or less the same thing. Right now, there is no confluence out there, but mostly we see this thing. I'm not talking about SGX. I'm talking about NASDAQ. I'm talking about the Dow futures. I'm talking about these. So when you have double confirmation from there, so let's say the US markets are also positive, plus you see an open is equal to low. Open is equal to low is a positive signal uh, for whatever uh, stock we are talking about. And open is equal to high is a negative signal. So when the global markets are positive, open is equal to low is positive. You are breaking the previous day high. You are having significant amount of volumes. The VWAP is above. The alligator is above 30 days. This is one of the best setups which you guys can actually see. So always try to look into confluence. Another thing I would say is please try to avoid stocks. If you are specifically dealing with stocks other than Nifty 50, please try to avoid for a while with this particular strategy. I'll tell you why, because of the liquidity issues, manipulation issues, volume issues, you can go till maybe Nifty 100, but I still see a lot of future and option stocks where I've used myself for uh, certain trades like Granules or Dixon. Uh, these don't have significant amount of volumes to be traded in uh, uh, intraday trading or volumes. They are more like positional bets, which you can actually carry. So try to avoid those things because the slippages could be very high. When you are putting a stop loss into the system, the slippages could be very high. And uh, uh, finally, if you really ask me, there are a few uh, things which you got to understand that uh, some psychological hacks over here, let's say you're using, see, no setup would give you hundred percent results. I'm honestly saying my own accuracy is around 54 to 55%, but still that helps me to remain profitable. I've never been, I, 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 I'm simply surprised how some people claim they have 99% accuracy. Uh, I, I, I never got that sort of accuracy, but yes, because my risk reward goes like one is to two, one is to three, uh, those are taken care of. So if, at all, you have three back-to-back -back losses in a particular day. Shut down the screen. Don't see anything related to trading. I would, in fact, uh, uh, so this is my personal hack. My followers know I have a particular tab which has nothing related to trading. It has only Netflix, Hotstar, and all that stuff. So I try to deviate my mind till the market is open because if I see anything related to market, I'm pretty sure I'm going to mess up with those trades. So three back-to-back -back losses, you're going to close. Uh, yes, uh, because a lot of beginners are watching, it becomes my moral responsibility to tell that if you are going to use this particular setup in FNO, please at least have a 3 lakh rupees account. Now, some of you might say, oh my God, you are saying 3 lakh. I didn't say that you can't use this setup. If you have smaller capital, use it in cash. But this becomes my responsibility because I'm coming on a public domain and I never try to misguide. So why? And I'm not saying if you have 3 lakh, just use the entire 3 lakh to buy options. No, I'm saying for margin adjustments, for your risk management and everything, it's a decent size of capital. At least 2 lakh should be out there if uh, you have this thing. If you have a fight with your wife or your girlfriend, please don't trade on that particular day with this particular setup. You might end up losing. Low liquid stock should be avoided. And 
But if you have a FOMO, so for example, today a lot of people had FOMO, oh, we missed the rally. Don't worry. A lot of people couldn't have predicted that this move would actually come after two o'clock. It came after two o'clock. So there's nothing to worry about. Market is such big. I've always seen in the last 11, 11 and a half years, market will always give you opportunity. Just stay calm, wait for the next opportunity and you will get this thing. So now I'm open for uh, questions. Uh, whatever questions uh, Mr. Kamal would be throwing upon me, I'll definitely like to answer those. Uh, somebody asked uh, Abhishek sir whether these setup can be traded in uh, commodities also. This can be, but let me tell you that commodities have a different type of cycle. So, for example, crude oil that shows major of the actions after 5, 5.30 in the evening and specifically when the reports are actually coming. Likewise, currencies are more governed by uh, the global uh, scenarios and whatever is happening on the currency market. So, I would say you can definitely use those things, but the amount of accuracy which you would be getting would be higher on the indices as well as the stocks, specifically the Nifty 50 or Nifty 100 stocks. And one more question is when to exit from this uh, setup? If uh -huh. that's that's interesting. So uh, I personally would prefer people to keep time based uh, uh, targets, time based targets, and stop loss in the system. I'll tell you how. So let's take an example. Today we were talking about uh, uh, Reliance. Okay, so Reliance. This is basically Reliance Industries. So there are two, three ways in which a particular person could have picked up uh, this thing. So I'm going on five minutes. I'm hiding the alligator for now. And let's take an example. If someone has shorted over here, first, what is time-based target is? You quickly decide as a scalper's mind that 10 to 15 minutes is max where I'm going to hold on this particular stock. So when you actually calculate 10 to 15 minutes somewhere over here, you are actually exiting. You got the, you got to, uh, you sell at the close that is two, three, six, six, and uh, you close around two, three, five, seven, or five, 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 six, five, seven. Uh, somewhere Abhi, around. are you please, presenting? Please share is... that start. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. I've, I've not, uh, just give me a second. Yeah. Now, now guys can see the screen, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's, 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 okay. So what I'm saying is, so let's say even if someone had shorted over here in the second candle, which is closing around 2372, even if you're keeping a time-based target of 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. So this is a very beautiful setup for a lot of office goers because whatever your stop loss has to hit will hit in the first 15, 20 minutes. You're, you have to hit the target. It will happen in the 15, 20 minutes. Just shut down and go to the office. So when you see that it is, let's say you're uh, shorting at a market order at 23.72 itself, in the next 10, 15 minutes, you're getting like 23.57, 58, 55. I'm not saying that you will get the exact low, but yes, there's no need to wait till 11.50 for this particular low. First is time-based target, that is 10 to 15 minutes. Second is if someone is very confident, now very confidence will come when price action is also supporting this thing. So for example, Reliance, I wouldn't suggest that today one should have held on for a longer period of time because all the previous days high was broken, but previous days low, which was two, three, three, seven was not even tested. Like the lowest point it came down till was 2350. Again, a psychological level, 2350 for Reliance. So I would suggest that uh, even if you see a psychological level, you could have exited a time-based 15 minutes is the best thing. Third thing is always think from a risk reward ratio. So one is to two is something which one could have actually planned in most of the scenarios and could have exited. So these are the suggestions which I would give for people to exit. I would suggest time-based target of 15 to 20 minutes is the best one to do. Okay. And one more question, of uh, uh, why alligator 30 minutes and Viva 5 minutes? Okay. So uh, alligator is simply used to understand the trend. As I mentioned that uh, VWAP. Okay. So first of all, let me also, I forgot to tell this thing to the people. So those who have glued around till the end will get this benefit. So VWAP is a very strange indicator. Mostly we see that most of the indicators, when you increase the time frame, their accuracy increases, but VWAP's accuracy decreases as soon as you go on higher time frame. Why? Because VWAP is trying to encapture the smallest of the intraday volume based moves. So when you suddenly go to, let's say a 30 day chart, you hardly have opportunities to buy yourself. Just see in the first 30 minutes candle reliance, almost entire plan is done. So first of all, for that matter, even if you're not using this particular setup, if you're using VWAP in any of the styles, please never exceed more than 10 minutes. 10 minutes is the max time frame which I would recommend. So five minutes is one of the reasons because that gives you a significant time frame to decide by yourself. And 30 minutes in alligator is because I want to just get a clear picture about three, four days, what has exactly happened. If I go on a daily chart, that would be a little misleading. And moreover, because I've used 
30 days quite often and it has worked out pretty well for me. That is one of the reasons why I've been using 30 day, uh, 30, 30 minute uh, alligator out there. And one, one more question is why the jaws is only taken in that alligator? <laughs> yeah. so, so, so I'll tell you. So what happens is, uh, so there has been a constant debate on social media around indicator versus price action. And uh, sorry to say those people who follow price action, they completely disarm that there is no need of indicators. Had that been a situation, I guess, even brokers like Alice Blue and everyone would have stopped giving indicators. But the very fact they're giving indicators is because a lot of algos are running on indicators. A lot of traders still use indicators. And old school, I remember 11, 12 years back, all the price action was there. Bhav Bhagwan Shri people used to say. But it was still indicators. The most prominent one was RSI. Everyone was to talk about RSI and moving averages. Everyone used to talk about. So let me tell you that indicators aren't bad. Yes, they are sometimes lagging, but they are very good for the confluence part. So now why I removed the other two aspects of alligator is because the problem with indicator is when you're having too many things on the screen. So I don't want to put a lot of things on this screen. Even if I'm using indicator, my rule is thumb rule is three. I completely believe that the best of the best things in the life happen in three, in the confluence of three. It could be three indicators. Even you go into real life, we talk about, in, uh, it, this might go somewhere else, but uh, with due respect to all religions, even in uh, Hindu religion, it is Trimurti. If you talk about three dev, even uh, in Hindi Kahavat, uh, jab kaam bigadta hai, we call teen tigada kaam bigada. I know it might not, but the reality is the best of the best things. If you keep it within three, that's the best thing. So that's why I'm just putting volume. VWAP and alligator in alligator also I'm removing everything just one line. So simplicity of watching this thing. Others, if you keep more things over the screen, that would confuse. So that is only what you need over here in this setup. That's one of the reasons to keep it simple and to keep the screen plain. That's the only reason. And what is the significance of last day uh, VWAP? Uh, okay, so last day VWAP, uh, this is also one more add-on point which people can actually keep. Whenever the last point of VWAP is actually considered, that also turns out to be a support. And it's I'm glad that someone asked this question because in Reliance, we have the answer to the same thing. You just see where the, uh, uh, the last day VWAP closed and where exactly... Reliance took support today. This is where uh, previous day VWAP closed. And wait a second. Let's not just uh, take uh, uh, one place. Uh, I'll show you. I'm not saying it will always happen, but that definitely becomes a very good starting point for a lot of people. So let's take an example. Even in the previous day, this broke down, but within two, three candles, it didn't follow up. Again, put, uh, came up and just see for most part of the day, you can see it is taking support around the previous day VWAP. So this is a very good thing. A lot of people ignore this thing. Previous day VWAP should be also marked if you want a further confluence. This will show where the direction of that particular trend is and help to take trades. Got it, sir. And, and you told about that monthly VWAP and weekly VWAP, how it yes, can be yes, included yes. in this. So although that's not a part of the setup, but VWAP uh, beautifully, if you can see, so uh, you guys can actually go on the inputs and the anchor price has various things, sessions, week, month, quarter, year, decade, century, and all those things. Technically speaking, with whatever articles and everything since very long I've read on VWAP, VWAP is always used on an intraday basis and it is considered in the intraday momentum. But now with the advent of technology, a lot of platforms now provide that you can simply turn into a weekly. So now what is happening is the moment I'm turning it to weekly, this VWAP is now considering the entire week. Now, because the week has just started today, so today we'll have the same thing. But let's say if I turn it to the monthly one, so this will show me that over the month, what has exactly happened. So I'm just trying to uh, remove the inputs on the style and just keep VWAP. So this is just showing me that, yes, Reliance is above the monthly VWAP, that yes, it is above the monthly range so far. So if it is going below the monthly range, then uh, it is possibly a short uh, occasion. But I'll tell you that it's still better, although we can see monthly, weekly, quarterly, a lot of those things. But the best one is always using it for the session, which is available on all the brokers. So I would suggest just go with the session ones. These are, I mean, these can be used, but I would always prefer to go with the session one. And can it be used with the options trading also? Yes, it can definitely be used. In fact, I'll give this homework to uh, the people who are watching this thing because that is how they will learn. Just go and uh, today. So let's take an example, Nifty. 
So just go and uh, put it at 17,000 uh, 600 call. Just put a VWAP on 17,600 call uh, because this particular trading view is not, uh, although it's a pro one, but it can't show the options one. That's why I can't show this thing over here. So 17,600 call, just put the VWAP and also 17,600 put because at some point of time, they were, this was the part where it was at the money option and for a very period, uh, uh, or you can say slide out of the money option at that point of time. Uh, so you guys can actually put both call and put and just check what has VWAP done over here. You will find the beautiful thing that once it was roaring about the VWAP, even if you were short into Nifty, you should have exited right away over there. Yes, it's a beautiful chart setup, I'd say, sir. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And, and, and I hope uh, this particular, and again, I would uh, suggest all the people just go and practice it a bit, uh, find out your specific 10 favorite stocks, try to apply on this thing. And when you do a bit of permutation combinations, for example, Mr. Kamal, someone had asked why just jaw, why not the teeth yeah. and all those things. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that this is the beauty of evolving as a trader. Who knows? You might find out or figure out a better way by using those things. I found out with John, you might find out with this thing. Right. This is what I would recommend everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that was a very interesting session, uh, Abhi. And uh, there has been more questions coming from our viewers uh, on and on. So I think we'll have to, uh, you know, put an end to somewhere. So maybe we can continue in the next uh, following sessions also. And there has been request already coming in for multi other languages also, mainly for yeah. Hindi. So I think we would uh, definitely connect again, once again, with the same topic or with another interesting topic as well uh, in uh, sure. Hindi also. So it was uh, nice meeting you here virtually in the show. And it has been a very, very detailed explanation that you had given us. And it was very easy for a beginner like me to understand uh, from the scratch to how you even you set it up to ho how it works uh, when it comes to the stocks or nifty or whatever uh, could be the strategy. And uh, you have answered to all our uh, viewers questions uh, possibly. Uh, so, yeah. So, viewers, uh, any more questions or any queries if you have, so definitely do reach out to us. Uh, so, here we have Abhi, Abhishek and also there is Alice Blue team who will uh, help you all to answer the queries. And for any instant discussions or any queries, please do sign up to our community forum page in our website. So, explore the forum. You can ask questions related to today's topic or as well as to any other sessions. If you have any queries, immediately reach out to us. We are all here to help you all uh, so thank you uh, all and before we uh, end the session i would like to again uh, share uh, my screen talking uh, showing you the disclaimer because it is our mandatory process to do so this uh, educational series this learning is purely for educational series and for informational purpose only so whatever you had learned today Please do uh, try the mock trading. Please do try the paper trading and then uh, get go on live like uh, Abhishek was telling you. See, this could be a spark that comes to your mind when it comes to strategies. So it need not be that you need to learn and apply it the next day. So you guys can continue to explore more and more and uh, and and uh, all benefit from uh, the more learnings that we are going to get uh, from the next sessions. So stay tuned to our uh, next uh, sessions. And for any uh, uh, queries or any uh, doubts that you have, please do ask us in uh, the uh, community forum or in the live, uh, chat session also on the YouTube channel. So thank you so much all. And uh, see you all in the next session again. Thank you, Abhishek. Thank you, Kamalji. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.